So first of all, uh, how are you, Ali? You won the Pardo d'Oro, the Golden Pardo. So what was the reaction of Ali when he heard about the news? I guess it's, uh, of course, from one side you won, and from the other side you would like to stay here with, with this guy here. What was he like? What, your, what are your emotions now? Uh, well, I'm extremely happy. I'm uh, so making this film. The whole process was really a struggle for me. And then now having such exposure, having this attention through this reward, the selection, and then the reward is, of course, a very good thing, not only for me, but for all those who made the film and for all this generation that has been fighting for over a year now in Iran. So this is, I think, a very good thing for all of us. I must say that this revolution, or maybe we cannot yet call it a revolution, or a revolution in progress of women, life, freedom, I tend to say that this is a it's the people fighting for their right on their own image. So it's very important for us and very significant to see one film, one image of this movement being acknowledged. This was an underground film and an underground shooting, and that's very, very much the continuation of the films that I made before. And my aim has always been to depict this generation, to describe the, the, the way they live, the, uh, their spirit and what they go through during all these years. And when I started this film, what I had in mind was really a kind of uh, no return situation as a final phase, something that I felt that the, the very uh, desperate situation in which we felt at the moment we started the film. And I must say that I also shot it with non-professionals. My actors are, are first, it's their first time in front of the camera. I only had one DP, one camera operator, uh, one person for the stand and myself. There were just the three of us. So with this tiny crew, it was like a secret me. Every time I really felt more than a director, I felt that I was the commander of a of a, of a mission, of a, of a secret operation, and that's really what I had in mind. It was not just the artistic aspect, but just being able to go through the process of making each sequence. And I must say that in a way, each sequence was like a whole film for me. Every time I felt that I was shooting a film, I prepared uh, one sequence, we produced it, we shot it, and then that was it. And then we moved on to the next sequence. But that was due to the conditions in which we worked, the fact that we uh, had uh, very little money, very small crew. So we really had to do with the means that we would find as we went on shooting. The first aspect that you refer to is, as you say, that the car is the safe place. It's almost as if you feel home, you feel safe once you are in this closed space. And especially in Iran, because I must say that in a city like Tehran, there is no social life, there is no urban life, there is no street life. You cannot go out on the street and meet people. If you want to go out, it's just by driving and going from one place to the other or go for a ride in the city inside your car. So that's... Uh, uh, the reality, the very reality of Iranian youth and Iranian people uh, in the cities these days. But at the same time, there is another aspect here in this film that this is not any car. This car for me is like an ambulance. I see this drug dealer like a doctor, like somebody who is here to heal the others. And he does it in the space of the car. And all the young boys and girls who come in this car are patients. They come here because they, they search some care and some healing that will be given in the space of this ambulance. But that this man who's not just a drug dealer but somebody who's here to cure these young people documenting history this is uh, 
something that we are doing uh, our fight and our aim nowadays which is precisely the fact of being able to represent our reality this is at the core of the conflict between the system iranian people they don't care much how we live they don't care much what we do in our homes um, what happens to us they say we we don't allow you to represent yourselves and represent your lives as it is you cannot picture the way you live um, in uh, outside iran or even in, in iran and this is really uh, the the fight many of the people who are demonstrating these days and the, who are fighting they don't ask for much they're just asking to choose their own image the way they get dressed the way they, they live that so it's very much a matter of image so this system and this regime is trying to impose on us one image one way of living and we are fight back because we want to be able to stand for our rights as citizens and the first one of the most basic rights for us is to choose our own images and to make our own images and this is how i see my role also personally personally these days i tend really not to open up so much even to the news or for to follow what's going on in festivals or even this interview could be risky for me but at the same time i know that this recognition and the award that the film won is very important for underground cinema in iran it can give hope and courage and support for uh, other filmmakers to come and people who need this support to move on i made this film before uh, all these events and the revolution because I feel that's the role of a filmmaker to be there before things actually happen and to stand on the front line of, of all this right now it's too hot for me we're in the middle of the conflict so i don't have enough distance to be able to make a film now if it's not before i'd rather wait after to take some distance to be able to make a film but there are other young directors who are also underground who are independent and who need the support and i think international attention and recognition is extremely precious for all of us we've got a, something for you this is the baby. Oh, <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Thank you.